this video is to take you through the basic steps of the assignment argument analysis practice with GPT. So you'll click on the instructions here once you're in the assignment. Then you'll read through the basic explanations of what you're going to be doing here. For the first part, you just really need to read through these two bullet points. You're going to click on this link to act, uh, access the specialized GPT for, for this assignment. If you don't have ChatGPT, or if you don't have a ChatGPT account, you'll need to create a free account using, um, using your, your email or your Google account, and you do not need to upgrade to the paid version. What I'm asking you to do in this is to interact with the GPT to receive at least two paragraphs for analysis. It will ask you to identify the key elements of the argument, uh, and I want you to, to try to do that. Uh, and my suggestion is that, uh, that if you're having some difficulty or if you just want more practice, that you continue to um, do additional paragraphs. And then you'll you'll save it by by sharing the chat, which I will I will show you. So I would click on this link, um, and it would take me here. And then you click on this as a sentence or a conversation starter. So you can just click that here, and this will uh, cause the the GPT to provide um, a paragraph for you to analyze. It will be creating all new paragraphs. Everyone would have different ones. Um, and so it will ask you, it will take you through what are the different elements of of, of an argument or, or identify the, um, each of the elements in this particular paragraph. And so it will start with usually the claim and then you would type in what you, you think the claim is. Um, it looks like by, let's see. This is interesting. Okay, so I'm going to say, let's see where it tells me, that video games uh, games help improve cognitive skills. And I'm curious to see whether it likes that or if it's going to think that's a reason. Um, and whether this point about violence, it, it wants to think is the main point, but let's see. All right, so it likes that. Uh, video to help improve cognitive skills is a central assertion. The claim is the main point, so we'll reiterate what the main point is uh, abstractly, uh, and it, it will um, give you some explanation. And you can ask for more. Interestingly, this time it's it's skipped down to evidence as opposed to reasons, which actually makes sense for this paragraph because the claim and the reason seem to be one and the same, which often happens in a paragraph, but doesn't happen. Um, it's, it doesn't happen in the full essay, but let's focus on what it's asking us. So, what's the evidence? Well, a key thing to look for often is. The evidence is going to be the uh, the specific facts, uh, the specific things that it points to. So oftentimes if it says a study um, by a particular organization. So I'm going to just see what it says if I say the study by APA instead of writing out the whole thing. Let's see what it says. It's taking a little while right now. All right, it says I'm correct. Um, and then it tells you like what the study found. Which is some, okay, now it's going back to the reasons. Interesting. All right. Um, I'm going to ask it just to be a troublemaker. What's the difference between a claim and a reason? And the reason is the support for I got it. Uh, 
yeah, see, it, it's having a little bit of difficult time there. Video games help improve cognitive skills. They actually help improve um, Yeah, I mean it's conflating the two a little bit, which is which is normal, um, and it gives me the reason. Uh, but it will help you to identify the different elements. Um, but I could have that conversation. So I'll say, are those two saying the same thing? You're absolutely right. To notice that there are uh, the overlap. So now it's saying the reasons expand on it. So that's something a little bit bit tricky, and and it's recognizing that, and you can help um, by pointing these things out. Uh, anyways, so let's see. Yeah. Okay. But you already gave me it, so. Let's see what it tells me if I put it here. Okay. So you'll it, 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 you'll already find that it might do some weird stuff, um, but it's it's pretty much correct, um, and how it does these things. So next, can you identify the warrant or the unstated assumption? Um, I'm going to say something that I know is wrong and see what it says. Video games are big business. Isn't the correct warrant, and it's going to give me an option to. And I mean, they're both basically, I'm not even going to. Oh. I'll go with the shorter one. Sometimes it'll give you an option to choose. A particular response. So correct. Video games are is not the correct warrant. Or it's valid thought. So it's trying to encourage me. That's nice. Uh, it explains what a warrant is, and then it will give me what the warrant is. So in this case, it's saying that improving specific cognitive skills like problem solving contributes to overall cognitive development. So it's making a connection between them. And then it gives me uh, why this isn't one. And so that's that can be helpful. So it is pretty helpful in those things. Uh, but as you can see, uh, it, uh, it it will try, it, it, it's not going to be perfect sometimes, but with the information that I provided it, it will definitely recognize um, the key elements. It's just when there's an overlap, like for instance, with the claim and the reason, it might get tripped up a little bit um, because it wants to give a definitive answer. But um, I think it, it it works in that respect. So will we help? So after you've gone through this and you've played around with it and you've done at least two, um, you've gone through at least two paragraphs, what you'll do is you will Go to this thing up here, click share chat. You'll create the link. And it, it, it says it's copied and you go to the assignment and the submission and you would paste the link there. And then I would access your transcript to see um, what you what you did, how you interacted with it. So that's, that's essentially step one. As you see here, you would have done up to this is the first part, one through three. And then, then the second part is to reflect on your experience. Just a short paragraph. So just a short um, paragraph reflecting on those things. And, and then you would make sure to submit both of those. So when you're submitting, make sure you have the link and then you have a paragraph just reflecting on your experience with it. Things that you found useful, not useful, interesting. Um, and uh, hope you have hope you have fun with it, even if it's uh, fun because it does weird stuff. Uh, I think it is again it is a good learning tool.